know, you know, it's, it's in the media right now, what's actually a buzz, and it has been for the last week or two, is this whole situation with Beyonce and her, her new album, specifically around the sampling aspect of it, um, Khalees came out, right? And she she uh she she pitched a, she pitched a tent on the whole situation, right? On the energy song, right? On the energy song, right. apparently um Beyonce sampled a piece from the milkshake song and Khalees was feeling some kind of way about it. Specifically, the why you ain't holler at me about this before you drop this. Now, some people may call it sampling, some may say biting. Stealing. I, I guess I guess no stealing. I guess the uh the appropriate term, or at least the politically correct term, is interpolating. Interpolating. Right? Interpolating. 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 <laughs> I've so, done plenty of interpolation in my musical. You know what I'm saying? So, so really, the question boils down to: Does is, Khalees is have a leg to stand on, or, quite honestly, did Beyonce do her injustice by, by doing what she did? Well, and if not, why? Well, well, well. I'm a Khalees fan. I'm, I'm, I love Beyonce, but I'm not such a Beyonce fan. I love Solange more. Uh, that's just me personally. Um, I think this goes back a little further than what Khalees is talking about because, you know, there was an artist named Amy Marie out of D.C., out of your area, who had a whole vibe, a whole energy. And it was said that Beyonce kind of took or was engaged in her energy, took it, finessed it, and became super popular while... A Marie kind of fell wayside. Well, let's fast forward. If you're looking at an artist who is known for getting popular and getting spins or energy off of a, a OG feel, and we talked about this before, you know, eracism, where an artist is popular and can erase what you've done because you aren't as popular now. You know, my whole take on it is Khalees had a right to feel the way she felt, but she didn't write the music. She didn't produce the she, music. She that did was, write the song. No, that was Pharrell's hands. Well, that was for Pharrell's her, hands. She wrote it in the Pharrell did. So in business, and they, but they got him and Chad got credit for writing, but they didn't write it. So she said that she wrote it. She said she wrote Milkshake. Mm. They produced it. They got credit for writing. That's her beef because okay. now credit. So, so, so did she get her writer's credit as well? I think no. she got a portion of the writer's credit. Well, okay. it was dropped. It was told that Beyonce dropped the whole song. Dropped everything like she took it off. Took yeah. it off. Took because, it off. Quite honestly, off the, what off she sampled is hard. It's easy to miss, right? Yeah. It's easy to miss. She didn't sample much of the energy song. That's why she can remove it and nobody cares. But it was less about that and whether Beyonce should or shouldn't remove it. Was it, you know, interpolating or was it biting or sampling or whatever? And it was more about Khalees being Khalees being in her feelings about how she was missed treated with the with, Neptunes. Which brings me to this point. Kelly's always in her feelings. She is. But it brings me to this point. Though, I love Kelly. You were somebody that was actually in the industry. Mm -hmm. Right? You produced for popular artists. I won't get into any names because maybe you don't want to say them. But he was somebody that was a mainstream producer. He did music for artists that you saw every day on your MTV Raps or BET or whatever. Your, in your experience, mm -hmm. what's your take on this? I... It's, it's kind of it's kind of tough like if she wrote the lyrics and didn't get credited like on the, the in terms of like her royalty payment right. her ASCAP money uh, on the back of the album if she didn't get credited that's a major problem because now you're dealing with the business right but if she's just mad that Beyonce didn't reach out to her Beyonce don't she don't have to reach out to you like, well, because it just look look at it this way: if I sample Cool in a Gang, do I need to reach out to the members of Cool in a Gang? They're gonna want their money. Or, no, I need to reach out to the whoever owned the puppy. Puffy, Puffy, right. Puffy, listen, listen, Puffy listen, is listen. paying Sting but, two thousand dollars a but, month but, but, for taking because Sting owns the publishing. That's the thing. Okay. Okay. You reach out to the person who owns the music. So if if Kelis is not the one who she need to do business with. She don't have. Those she's not, she's not obligated to reach out to Khalees. Like, so that's my take on it. Like, like she did her a favor by naming her on the back of the album. Okay, she did, she did a favor. I thought and it was then, a solid. A solid. And, and, okay. And, and then, well, I, I think. All right, but that's business, though. I think she yeah. had to put her on the back of the album because she is one of the original songs, and everybody knows it for her. Right. But 
the thing where she did her a salad is using her vocals anyway yeah. because that song was not made or broke from what they sampled from her you could have very well did the record and not had that in there and it still would have been a dope record it was a it was a it was an ode to her at that time that song is a nostalgic sound so and she wanted to shout out what she did with milkshake so so so, so 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 on that tape bruno mars took a sample from Trinidad James. Not a sample, but just some words he used. Don't believe me, just watch. Which, is, which, was, which was probably one of the most popular parts of that song. One of the most that, 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 popular that, that, that parts that of the that, song. That's, that's the hook. Trinidad James gets a check monthly off of Bruno Mars using that sample. And Bruno Mars actually went to Trinidad out. James and said, reached out first and said, hey, bro. I'm using some of your music. I'm using something fresh. Right. And, 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 and listen, you're going to love me for this. And Brandon, properly done, right. he reached out and said, you are a part of so, this. So, so now the question is whether or not if it's, you know, the right thing to do to do that, or if it was just Bruno Mars did that and that was cool too. Well, Bruno, Beyonce, I, well, well, Bruno yeah. Mars, well, Bruno Mars didn't actually know Trinidad James. He have to. Beyonce knew did he have, Nor did he have to reach out to Trinidad. He could have reached out to Trinidad's folk and said, hey, we're doing this and here's what you're he did him a solid by doing that because he he's not obligated. That's a super solid. But he's not yeah. obligated. But I'm not knocking Beyonce for not. I'm not knocking the, I just yeah, call 100%. It. No, Beyonce did not have to reach out to her. She didn't. But I just call that right business. I just call that right business. But it ain't biting. Right? It's not biting. So it's not, it's not stealing what she did with Khalees' song. She doesn't own the, the entire rights. The Neptunes does. Mm -hmm. They produced the track. It was a combination of vocals and a sound. But they had their hand in she was still credited on the back of the album with okay. a portion of that and it was a small piece of it well I, i'm gonna say this Kalisa's argument was entirely emotional because of how she was messed around on the business side of things true and you know what and when Kalisa went on that interview she said this is no knock to beyonce just like Nah, she, she tried to curry Beyonce and said, you preach this whole proactive black woman X, Y, and Z. And just reach out this. to me. Just reach out to me. Like I just said, she how, was, Bru she how, how, Bru how she Bruno did Trinidad James but, reached out to that man early but, but, before the record was done. But, but just because he did that doesn't mean everybody is going to do the same. Yeah, right. Work, you know, yeah, that's right. when I both know it don't work. We all know it don't work like that all the time. So, so, so that's sort of like Shaka Khan when she said, I hate through the wire. But she got paid for it. Well, here's the thing, too. We 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 all love hip hop. We've all grown up listening to hip hop. Every rapper who samples an old artist does not reach out to that old artist to get the sample clear. First of all, some of them don't even reach out to the person who owned the label and owned the publishing to that, get the thing clear. That's why Puffy Pants sting two thousand right. a day a month because he didn't he right, didn't reach out to him. Reach out. Just like Chuck D, Chuck D had to sue Puffy for using. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But my, my point, is, my point is, is that in hip hop, we do it all the time. We sample all the time, and you don't. It, it's it's not uh, common nature to uh, or protocol. Sa sample not, you know, better, better, better word. It's not protocol to go to the artist and say, "Hey, I'm about to use your." your nobody does that. Right. What you do is once you use the sample, you go to whoever owns that sample and say, "Hey, we looking to use this sample. Can we can we get a clearance?" Right. Sure. That's and, and, that's protocol. It is. And, and you mentioned Puffy, and I'd be remiss not to say this is funny. How Puffy's name is tied to Sting song, the Chuck D situation, but also who's this cat out of Mississippi? Off the notorious. Tip. Oh my God, Gats said, Gats said he, he, Biggie took his whole shit with Juicy. Oh, yeah, what what, what yeah. the world? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of that going on right he got, now. He, he got a history it's a, of. It's a lot of that biting. It's a lot of that going. Not paying homage. He got yeah. It's a lot of that yeah. going on yeah. right now. So, no, so you know, we just wanted to real quick touch on something that we felt was a sensitive subject, especially to my man O Double, who was in the industry, someone that produced for major artists, and experienced some of this firsthand. But also as us as true hip hop fans and students of the game, we've seen this game play out time and time again. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Khalees, one side of the story, she goes her way, she was misdone on business. I get her point. Beyonce owed her no favors for what she did. She did everything by the book from a protocol standpoint. So really, it's no loser in the situation. Beyonce still cranking and Khalees got that piece dropped like she wanted. So, 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 uh, all right. As we finish out, listen to Pete Rock and CL Smooth straighten it out. The whole subject matter of that song, straighten it out, was 
hey, we take samples to remake, remake the music to make it more popular now. We use these samples for people to remember you. We use these samples for people to never ever forget you. So, you know, it's a it's a two-sided coin. You know, well, Beyonce, well, Beyonce, well Kelly, Kelly will not be forgotten. She won't. Because Beyonce just used her. Uh, you'll always, you know, I'll never mind. <laughs> Bourbon boys, man. Bourbon boys, oh, squad cast. Still chilling, man. Yeah. What's up?